Hello guys, good evening and welcome to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down to Eastbourne, I'm fishing, uh, where am I fishing? I'm fishing the sewage works of Eastbourne, um, quite close to the outfall pipe, uh, just on the beach with a rock, so if you're local that's why I'm fishing tonight. Um, I'm going for smaller fish tonight, uh, maybe dabs and whiting hopefully, um, and then anything else that comes along and takes a pick. I've got some worms, some mackerel and some squid. Uh, the sea is pretty flat, there's a little bit of movement to it, uh, much more than there was this morning, so I'm pretty hopeful, and hopefully we can bag some fish. Right guys, so as I said, the sea is pretty flat. Very flat calm, no waves or anything like that at all. Uh, hopefully as the tide pushes up, we should start to see you know, some more movement in the water. Uh, pretty hopeful for tonight, uh, hopefully we can bag a couple of fish. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Rigs wise, what we got tonight, and we've got a two hook clip down, nice and simple. Black lug there from the Angler's Den, cheers lads. And then on the bottom, another worm, which is down there. Actually, this one's a, sorry, this one's a two hook flapper. The one I just cast out is a two hook clip down. So we've got two hook clip down on one rod, two hook flapper on the other. We're all cast out, just waiting for a bite. Right, I guess the first rod's first rig's been out no more than two seconds. We started to get a couple of bites. Now, I'm using these rig shark tip lights. Um, I really, really like these to be fair. Uh, I'm using the smart lights. Um, and what they do is they're static green as you can see and then when you get a bite um, they change to red or when there's a tug on the line they change to red so we'll see if it goes again very cold tonight look as you can see by the mist coming from my, uh, my breath but yeah really cold now definitely into winter and hopefully we'll be able to you know, catch some winter species tonight just going to wait to see if that rod goes again I say it's always when you pick up the camera, it gets camera shy. There we go. A couple of bites on there. There we go. Some nice pulls down. And the rod tip changed from green to red. Right, and we better reel her in and see what we got. First cast, and we've ended up with two white. Not massive, coming in at 28 apiece. Let's get them back in. But the winner has definitely begun. Right, like I said then, so the main bait we got tonight are oiled and salted lug, which are there, and then I've got some mackerel uh, from summer, which is still here, and I've just cut this mackerel, I'll fill it a bit off and cut it into some small sections, and we'll throw that on as well, see if we can tempt any other fish that might be lurking around, so yeah, small, small tiny sections, which we'll hook them straight on, and then cast back out. Right guys, the second cast, bang into another double shot of white. This one's uh, slightly bigger than the last couple I've had, so we're going to give that a measure up and see if I can enter it into my species home on my Facebook group, UK Island Sea Angles. Yeah, another two white and two casts, four fish. It's not going too bad. Right, now, guys, another one bites the dust. Another ma another mackerel, another whiting. Yeah, so we're on five whiting so far in the first couple of casts. So yeah, not too bad at all. Definitely beats blanking. Right, now, guys, the rod tip has been non-stop since we got it. Uh, fish it, fish it, chuck it a minute. Definitely better than blanking. Uh, if you like whiting, definitely come down and give it a go. Such an underrated fish, whiting. It's great eating fish. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, nibbles from the offset. The question is, can we break through the whiting and grab something a bit more substantial? But it's definitely nice to see the bites. And even more so to catch the fish. So it's been white and a chuck. I think I've lost count of how many white we've had tonight. It's been an absolute massacre of white. Trying my hardest to get for them. I think we're going to change to a big bait. Nice big 6 0 hook. Maybe a mackerel and squid uh, combination. Or maybe a mackerel and lug combination. And try and pick off a slightly bigger fish. That's the plan. Right, so I've caught a ton of white tonight. An absolute ton of white. Uh, alternating between a flapper and a clip down rig. Both on size 2 hooks. So I'm just going to switch it up now. We're going to throw out a bigger bit of mackerel fillet on a 6-0 uh, with a bit of black lug in the middle there. Let's see how we get on with that. Right guys, the last cast is in. Into the darkness it be cast. Absolutely freezing now. Proper cold, I can't wait to get home and have a nice brew. I'll let you know if anything changes. Right guys, so even on the biggest bait, I forget this little fella decided to take the big bait on the 6-0 <laughs> I 
absolutely tiny. Right, guys, that is it for me for this uh, week's session. I just couldn't get through the whiting tonight. They're absolutely everywhere. If you like whiting or like fish cakes, or if you want to grab some uh, to make some fish fingers for the kids, come down, have a fish. They're definitely here in abundance at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I, I pretty much lost count of how many whiting we had tonight. Definitely over 30, I think. Um, I didn't have any stinger rigs on me. That could have been an option to use a stinger rig to fish for another fish. Uh, we had nothing on the big baits, um, apart from one whiting. <laughs> So yeah, so thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, the next plan over the next couple of weeks is um, to you know, keep fishing for pike, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, hopefully you guys will see uh, the videos that go out uh, and then we'll probably try and jump on a, a beach day session to try and fish for dabs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.